Here we go. We're jumping right into it. Top stock picks of the week, starting off with SPY. We're on the daily chart time frame. Last week, I mentioned this range that SPY was in. I said, if we break this range, either top side or bottom, we can expect to see continuation. That is what we got. Top side break of the range, and then the continuation move up, running all the way up to $444. So from here, what do I think may happen? Well, given this run, I, it wouldn't be surprising to see SPY pull back a little bit further off of this run, but I do expect to see the continuation. If you were confused about the direction um, of SPY, it should be clear now. We are moving up. I know there are so many bears out there in the market right now, but uh, hey, you can't fight the trend, right? It, I mean, you can, but the trend is your friend. You want to stick with it as much as possible. So things moving up, SPY breaking out of ranges top side, SPY making higher highs. I'm looking for high, higher highs. SPY, long idea this week above $444, 444. Number two on the watch list is going to be Apple. So much like SPY, you know, this is at the all-time highs. It's grinding up, continuously making higher highs uh, just about every single day. What we're looking for is new all-time highs. So very simply put, Apple, long idea above $187. Similar situation. Because it's running up so much so uh, so soon, recently, it may need to pull back a little bit. But um, keep that alert set at 187 That'll be the level to watch Apple. We could take it long above that for new all-time highs. Meta, M-E-T-A, next one on the watch list. I know you can't see the big gap on the daily because there's not enough time here uh, on my chart, but there is a gap on Meta all the way up to about $317. So each higher high made on Meta is still working on filling that gap. What I'm looking for on Meta is the same thing I'm looking for on SPY and the same thing that I'm looking for on Apple, higher highs. Long idea above $288 this week. Next one on the watch list, RBLX. This is a little bit of a different setup here. Um, multiple times we've had, so, we, so there's a gap here on the daily. That's what that big gray box is. But multiple times we've had a rejection here. One, two, three, now four times rejecting the bottom side of this gap area at $43. Can RBLX push up into the gap to partially fill it? Maybe. So that's what we're looking for this week. RBLX, set your alerts at $43. If we get a break of 43, we are now filling this gap. Price target's going to be about $45. Next one on the watch list, Tesla. I think we would be pretty dumb not to watch Tesla here. Um, it did fill this gap back here, so that's no, no longer relevant. I know it feels extended. I know Tesla's been pushing up, but like I said earlier, the trend is your friend. So Tesla, looking for higher highs on this, long idea above 264, or... We will be looking for a breakdown below the $242 level for the fill of this gap below. Okay, so if Tesla does reject in this area and starts to pull back, look to take short under 242 for the gap fill down to about 235 or so. Otherwise, long above 264, higher highs. Next, <clears throat> excuse me, next one on the watch list is going to be AMD. A little bit of a different setup here. So instead of us looking for higher highs, on AMD this week. Um, we're actually back to this gap area or pretty close to it at 116. So it started off, AMD was consolidating at the gap area. We were looking for a break down into the gap. It validated it as support. Then we started to look for higher highs. Now we're coming back down to the gap area. So AMD, short idea under $116 if it can get there this week for the gap fill back down to about 110. Next one on the watch list is going to be Amazon. So this is a nice setup here, much different than pretty much everything else that we have on the watch list because a lot of names are already running. I mean, Amazon has been running a little bit, but um, it, it started to consolidate most recently. So it's not necessarily making higher highs, but not necessarily making lower lows either. Uh, it's stuck in this range with 124 as a point of support, and then you've got resistance up here at 128. So I have no bias here on Amazon. Um, I think that this could go either way from here, and uh, we're just going to pay attention to it. Look for a break of 128 to take it long for higher highs for the breakout, or look for the break of 124, the support for the breakdown from the range. So again, no bias here, just plan to play the direction, wait on confirmation, and then follow the trend.
Next one and final one on the watch list is going to be PLUG. I don't normally talk about stocks that are priced this cheap, but I really like the setup here. Um, had a long consolidation period where it broke out. We were, we've were we been trading it ever since it started to, uh, to give us this move. Pulled back to $9, tested that as support, bro broke out above 10. Pull back, it's testing that as support. So now we're looking for the break higher above 1125. PLUG for this to be relevant this week needs to hold up above $10. If it breaks below 10, I'm not really interested in taking a trade here. But if it does start to push up, start to break over 11, gives us a day where it closes over 11, we'll look to take it long above 1125 for the move higher. Okay, so that's it. Spy, Apple, Meta, Roblox, Tesla, AMD, Amazon, and Plug will be the top stock picks for this week. Press that like button for me if you haven't done so already. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. I hope that the video helps you out, and I will see you in chat. Good luck this week.